Body Composition, Wikipedia Article Audio In physical fitness, body composition is used to describe the percentages of fat, bone, water and muscle in human bodies. Because muscular tissue takes up less space in our body than fat tissue, our body composition, as well as our weight, determines leanness. Two people of the same sex and body weight may look completely different because they have a different body composition. The most accurate estimation of body composition is derived from body density by means of the equation of fractional densities which states that the overall density of a mixture containing more than one substance can be calculated if the proportion and density of each component substance is known. For determination of body composition the body is often assumed to be composed of four basic substances with the general form of the equation as follows. Body density DEXA Where D, B, equals overall body density, W, equals proportion of water, F, equals proportion of fat, P, equals proportion of protein, M, equals proportion of mineral D, W, equals density of water D, F, equals density of fat D, P, equals density of protein D, M, equals density of mineral. In a research laboratory setting, the overall density of the body is calculated from its mass and volume. The mass of the body is found by simply weighing a person on a scale. The volume of the body is most easily and accurately determined by completely immersing a person in water and calculating the volume of water from the weight of water that is displaced. The proportions of water, protein, and mineral in the body are found by various chemical and radiometric tests. 239-278 The densities of water, fat, protein and mineral are either measured or estimated. The equation is then rearranged to solve for the proportion of fat from the other quantities. A reasonably accurate estimation of body fat can be obtained by means of a two-compartment model of the human body which is based upon two simplifying assumptions. 1. Human fat has a density of 0.9 grams ml, and 2. The lean components of the human body have an overall density of 1.1 grams ml. The two-compartment model allows for an estimation of the proportions of fat and lean components of the body to be made from the overall body density. And, as explained above, the overall body density is easily calculated from body mass and body volume. Rearranging the equation of fractional densities to solve for the proportion of fat will yield the following equation. The density of human fat is remarkably constant across all subgroups studied but variations have been reported in the density of the fat-free mass. To address these differences, unique equations for the two-compartment model have been proposed for specific populations. Air Displacement Plethysmography Body composition measurement with dual energy X-ray absorptiometry is used increasingly for a variety of clinical and research applications. A DEXA scan requires medical supervision by a radiologist and some consider it to be the new gold standard in body composition testing. Total body scans using DEXA give accurate and precise measurements of body composition, including bone mineral content, bone mineral density, lean tissue mass, fat tissue mass, and fractional contribution of fat. The estimation of body fatness from body density was accepted as the gold standard for many decades. Some researchers now claim that whole body scanning techniques are the new gold standard. But these claims are somewhat dubious since the scanning algorithms are validated against body composition assessments based on fractional density from underwater weighing. From Conductivity 
DEXA measurements are highly reproducible if the same type of machine is used, making them excellent for monitoring pharmaceutical therapy, nutritional or exercise intervention, sports training and or other body composition altering programs. They are also fast, simple, non-invasive, and expose the subject to a level of X-rays less than that of a cross-country flight. DEXA exams provide both total body and up to 14 regional results. However, the role of DEXA in clinical evaluations and research studies has been questioned by Wang Etal who stated that the errors of the DEXA method are still of concern if it were to be used as the criterion. Another technique for measuring body composition has been developed for measuring body volume using a different method than underwater weighing. The technique uses air as opposed to water and is known as air displacement plethysmography. Subjects enter a sealed chamber that measures their body volume through the displacement of air in the chamber. Body volume is combined with body weight in order to determine body density. The technique then estimates the percentage of body fat and lean body mass through empirically derived equations similar to those used with underwater weighing. Another method is bioelectrical impedance analysis, which uses the resistance of electrical flow through the body to estimate body fat. Unfortunately, BIA is highly sensitive to hydration status and water intake. Drinking water dilutes the electrolytes in the body making it less conductive as does increasing body fat. Skin Folds Body composition can also be measured using the skin fold test, which is performed using a tool called a caliper. It can be done in nine steps. Ultrasound a common skin fold method is by using gun style calipers to measure the thickness of subcutaneous fat in multiple places on the body. This includes the abdominal area, the subscapular region, arms, buttocks, and thighs. These measurements are then used to estimate total body fat. Circumferences and other measurements. Ultrasound has also been used to measure subcutaneous fat thickness, and by using multiple points an estimation of body composition can be made. Ultrasound has the advantage of being able to also directly measure muscle thickness and quantify intramuscular fat. Assessment of somatic protein is typically determined by simple measurements and calculations including mid-arm circumference mid-arm muscle circumference, and creatinine height ratio. Creatinine height ratio is calculated as 24-hour urine creatinine multiplied by 100 over the expected 24-hour urine creatinine for height. This calculation results in a percentage which can indicate protein depletion. Validity the methods above are each valid and notable in providing a reasonably accurate range of the true body composition of the tested individual. However, each method does possess its own individual limitations, indeed precluding to the existence of so many variable methods available for an individual to use. Therefore, the actual method of testing body composition is not as important as the consistency of measurement in between each test. If an individual is to be tested from one period to the next, all factors should ideally remain as similar as possible to reflect the best indicator of true change in composition. The exercises needed to maintain optimal body composition differ from man to woman to child but the ideal types of fitness remain the same. The primary exercises needed to improve body composition involve fat burning and cardiovascular exercises. Types of Exercises <laughs>